Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and guys, it is almost spring. The dozer has cleared the field for the barn. We've got those brush piles, they have dried out. It's time to burn them. Let's do it. To get our box blade set up to uh, create that fire break, I'm gonna turn these tines down. Just to be about that far below the blade. That way they'll dig up their dirt a little bit. The blade can smooth it out. We'll get a real quick fire break. I think it's gonna work great. Box blades ready? Let's go make a fire break. Got everything we need to get this fire going. We've got a tractor with a bucket on the front of it full of dirt already. If fire gets out of the way, I can dump that dirt on it, I can scoop it up, I can fold it over so we can keep that fire intact. Of course, the 15, 20 foot fire break all the way around, done with the box blade, gonna keep everything nice and safe. We've also got, we got a hoe, we got a shovel, I got a bunch of water right here. We can always go back to Grandma Carol's in the well and fill up the water to get more. I think the dirt and the tractor will be most of safety, but the state wants you to have water available as well. To get our fire going, what we're gonna use, we're gonna use propane. We got two propane torches. Psh, 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 get that fire going. And of course, a little bit of accelerant. We got some diesel fuel right over there. I got my uncle Sonny, he's gonna help me today. He's gonna, you'll see him out there spraying and firing and lighting and doing all that stuff. He's also watching out for me since I'm gimped up in the leg, you know what I mean? So uh, let's get this fire break going and uh, get the fire started. Now that we've got the uh, the dirt turned up with those tines, uh, we're flipping all the rest of them back up. Uncle Sonny's fishing this last one here. Now we'll go around a couple more times with the box blade uh, just to smooth all that out, get all the vegetation out, make this fire break nice and safe. She's a little bit crazy on the weekends, dancing in her red dress, and I love the way she looks in my eyes, and I feel the light.
can let her hair down, but got her feet on the ground. I can't get enough of her. She can drive me so wild, just with that sweet smile, and there's nobody else for me. My heart starts racing every time I'm looking at her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing to me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy. Box blade's a little bit light, didn't really uh, bite down too much. It's kind of muddy out here too, which the mud and the moisture is going to help us keep that fire contained, right? Uh, so we're about 15, 20 feet out. We got most of the vegetation gone. I think we are safe. Now it's time for some accelerant. We're going to get this diesel fuel poured all over both ends of this uh, brush pile. And that way when we get this uh, propane on there, hopefully uh, keep this, because this wood is a little bit wet. It did rain on us a little bit earlier today. Uh, so there's a little bit of moisture in the wood, but hopefully the diesel fuel and this propane can overcome that and get it hot and going. All right, so we're gonna burn right here first. So let's go ahead and get our diesel fuel all up in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna light. <laughs> let's get some more of this on. We had to move over to bigger jugs. That was gonna take a little too long in those little uh, quart. We got the big five quart jugs full of diesel fuel. Got a little oil residue in there. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and fire it up. Yeah. Well, I, hell yeah, that stuff's gonna burn. We got our two propane torches. Mine's a longer one, but doesn't have much force behind it. It's just a basically a propane torch. Uncle Sonny's now, it's got some propellant behind it. Wait till we start that one up. But I'm gonna go ahead and get mine lit. <laughs> go ahead and light her up. Uncle Sonny's is going to light this side up first. We'll see how it does. Go ahead and light it up, sir. Now we got diesel fuel on there, so hopefully we got He got his lit up. Woo, that thing went going, didn't it? I can see it from this side. My turn now.
Romania, baby. Burn here. Guys, we are finding out this wood is a lot wetter than we thought it would. We, we, we would get it to light up and burn and blaze. As soon as we move the, the torch to another area, it would die out just like that. Kind of makes sense how muddy the ground is, how, how moist that wood is. So uh, this is gonna take more than just a day to get this one pile. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a ten, a ten piles. Now, we don't need all ten piles burned to get the barn going, which is gonna go right here, but I do need to get these three right here. Good news is, I had Trip from West Tennessee Transport come out here and talk about clearing the land for the barn dominium. We talked about these piles too, getting them moved out of the way of the barn, getting them, uh, excavator can lift up and get all that mud and dirt out of there because as there's so many stumps and mud inside there, it's just not, it's not burning very well. So we will come back another day and finish this job up right. I'm glad you all were here for this. If you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, make sure you do so. It's free. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out here on Ridge Life. So guys, until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.